Hi everyone, I'm going to walk you through a demonstration today of how DNS Edge helps set policies in place to help you reduce the time to detection, to narrow the scope of investigations, and then to help you remediate against threats sooner. In this case, we have a representative client site where we've set policies in advance based on the philosophy of the best offense is a great defense. We've set in place a policy already for a logistics warehouse within our network where we understand that internal queries shouldn't be made in a very common place to the most sensitive areas of our network. So this might be in HR, this may be in finance, and we've set a monitoring policy in place, not so that these queries are blocked, which Edge does allow, but so that they're monitored, they're flagged, so that we can then look at them and then speed up again our ability to remediate any potential issues. In this case, we're noticing at the overview page that on the statistics graph that we have that charts the last 24 hours of activity in your network, that we have a blip here for the monitor policy. So what I can do is highlight that blip and immediately I'm taking to our query logs. DNS Edge, through its service points, logs every single query because the service point acts as the first hop for all of your client devices. In this case, it is capturing all of this activity and displaying it to you in near real time. From here, you'll see that we flagged that particular date and time stamp, as well as all of, the policy, all of the queries that have been flagged by policy action. In this case, what we'd really like to focus on are just those policies or just those queries that were flagged from a monitor policy. So here we see a particular site. This is the logistics warehouse. That we have a machine that has become very active pinging our internal corporate domain. And this is traffic that's not usually supposed to happen, which is why we've set up that monitoring policy to flag it. We can then open up one of these queries and see the full breadth of the query, including its response and what has occurred. And here we also see the policy that flagged this particular query. Furthermore, as part of reducing your scope of investigation, we have the inspect client activity function. When you click on this function, it takes a snapshot in time of the traffic that this particular machine was performing two minutes after it had visited this site and performed this query. You can change that snapshot to be larger or smaller or even before or after. In this case, we're going to increase the scope and take it to 20 minutes after it had made this particular query to our corporate internal domain.com. And as you can see, the traffic only gets more suspicious as, we're, as the snapshot gets larger. And now I'm noticing that we have a query here that wasn't flagged by a monitoring policy, but it's certainly suspect. Here, we're now able to look at a situation where is this a domain, is this a situation that calls for an additional block policy as part of our remediation. Now that we've found this problematic domain occurring within the site, what we'd like to do and what Edge provides you with is the ability to create a block policy where we can take this avssws.com, apply it to a block policy as part of a domain list. And so traffic from that domain or going to that domain will no longer be, will no longer occur in your network until such time that you can confirm that this is indeed not a threat or if it is in fact a threat that needs even further remediation. To do this, we're going to move to our domain list section, where we're going to create a domain list where we're going to include avssws.com. We create this domain list, provided a description. It is a user-defined list, and here's where we're going to enter that domain. After saving the domain, we're then going to create a policy and apply this domain to that policy. So we come to our policy section and we're going to add a new policy. We're going to call block new domain. We have two types of policy action. Now we had previously talked about the monitoring policy, which is how we first found this problematic domain. And so you have two types of policy, an edge block or monitor. 
the monitor allows the query to continue its path to resolution, but it does flag it again to help reduce scope in case there's a problematic behavior notice. But in this case, we know that there's a problem. And so we'd like the queries going to this domain to be blocked. Then we set this policy to active. We provide a description. And then we're going to state what sites do we want this policy to be applied against. In this case, we know the site that is part of the suspicious behavior. And then here, we're going to add the domain list. Now, once I click Save and Apply, DNS Edge is going to take this policy and apply it to the site within a matter of minutes. So what you see is from the time of noticing the, the monitor policy being flagged at the overview page from our statistics panel, to traveling to our query logs, to noticing the suspicious behavior through client, through inspect client activity, and then moving on to creating a policy that is then enacted at the site level, we are talking about a, a mere matter of minutes going from noticing suspicious behavior to narrowing the scope to then a remediation policy being put in place. 